just want to share a quick video about planting. We get our seedlings from a nursery that is specialized in creating quality seedlings. These seedlings are uh, conical, as you can see. And the way we plant them in our rafts is by making sure that the top, the base, is in the same level as the styrofoam raft. Also, the bottom part of the seedlings, you can't really see it, should be pointing outwards. Hence, the thickness of the raft is the same, should be the same as the length of the, um, what do you call it, the dirt of the seedlings. If it's like five centimeters from top to uh, bottom to top or top to bottom, then this is the size of the raft that you should be having. Because the bottom part of the seedling should be touching the water, while the top of the base, the base should be at the very same height as the raft. What happens if your holes are bigger than the, than the seedling can support itself? It will drop down. See? And that way, the, the, it will grow, but it won't grow well. What do I mean? The stress that will, the sides of the hole will cause on the, on the, on the plant, will stress the plant, and it will go straight to uh, flowering. And you don't want that. So when planting, make sure all the holes are fit and snug and, grab the, and grabs the lettuce uh, exactly where you want it to be. Uh, also about the technique. See how it's arranged? It's like two on the top, two on the bottom, two on the top, two on the bottom. This uh, actually is an advantage. Why? Because when we plant, you can sometimes get confused. It's hot in here. Nobody likes to be in a greenhouse. It's pretty hot. Could be nice, but no complaints. But people get confused. So some rafts, they have a different order to them. You can put them this way, you can put them that way. But when you have an uh, even number of bounces, let's say you have two at the bottom, two on the left, two on the right, two on the left, two on the right, that's four bounces. Let's call it a bounce. And then what happens is if I flip the tray, it stays the same. So there's no confusion. And God forbid I have a problem and the rafts get all scrambled up in the pool, I can easily fix that. But just by a stick or get in or whatever, I can easily fix the mess I created. If I create it, I usually don't. But uh, it's, it's an advantage because sometimes things don't go well and you want to arrange the raft. Sometimes they move because you forgot to switch off the pump and the turbulence of the water causes the rafts to move and shift and some things like that do occur when you're growing in a, such a big pool in a DWC setup. So what I like to do is this arrangement. It's easy, it's nice and I hope you found this tip useful. Uh, I'm thinking about the next video should be about how to create a hole how to how we make the holes so they're there they are precise they're consistent they're at point and it will save you lots of time if you're a commercial grower believe me i struggle with holes that don't fit i made that mistake and i wish i didn't do that mistake but it, you know you learn from those mistakes and you develop your skills and everything that goes to it and I like to share this information with you so you don't have to go through the, the troubles that I went through uh, as, we, as we develop our skills, our growing skills. And like and share and subscribe this video if you know of anyone who will find it useful, who's thinking of getting into hydroponics. We do have a company that specializes in uh, these kind of projects and we help other growers to develop uh, uh, greenhouses and stuff. So if you want to contact me, you can go to our Facebook page, which is called the same as Israel Hydroponics. Uh, feel free to message me and I'll be sure to answer almost all of your questions. So have a great day 
and God bless.